you guys want to do an improvisation lesson again? Let's do it. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Anyway, uh, testing new things. So we're going to be playing uh, a G minor jam. Uh, so this is another fun little jam. So you've, if you've gone through our imp improvisation course, by the way, I'm Luan. I live stream and we have a free music school. If you're new here, if you're finding us through YouTube. Um, and this is part of our improvisation course. The links are in the description. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into a G minor jam. We've been doing A minor jams and this was like a fun little thing. I was fun little giddy that I was just vibing on with my improvisation. So I was like, hey, uh, let's see if you guys want to have some fun with it too. So um, chord progression, super simple. It's going to be E major 7. Uh, sorry, yeah, E major 7 if you want. E flat major 7, sorry. And then it's going to come down to D minor. And it's going to come down to G minor. So if you want to play with me, that's what it is. E flat major 7, D minor. Um, and this is a chord progression that uh, is inspired by a song called cooler than me if i could write you a song you know and that's how it goes down um but it's a really cool little loop where it's just like you can always keep finding fun fun ways to approach it um now uh if you were watching the previous video on a minor we started talking about some chord tone stuff so those three chords that we're playing we've got the e flat major seven and then d minor and then the g minor um so that's a four three six that i'm moving through Four major, three minor, six minor. Now we can follow the exact same setup that we did in the previous one. So if you're new here, the minor pentatonic scale we're going to use is G minor. Um, so it's E uh, on the low E string. You're going third fret, sixth fret, three, five, three, five, three, five, three, six, three, six. Moving through all the strings. Now when I play the E flat major seven. One of the notes that you can target that will be very useful is going to be the fourth fret on the B string. So I've got. And then when we go to the D minor, the other note you can target is the sixth fret on the uh, B string. So. And then when we hit the G, you can either hit the third fret on the high E or the eighth fret on the B. So. So we go. And then. So those are like the scale options that you have and note options. Um, but obviously with that, with that improvisation, always focus on groove, always focus on tension and resolution, wax on, wax off, stable, unstable, whatever you want to call it. Just create whatever you decide to do, do the opposite of it to create tension resolution, short notes, long notes, um, low pitch, high pitch, loud, soft, whatever. Just use use these tools as a priority and lock in with the groove. All right, let's jump right in. Less talking, more jamming. All right, I'm gonna start with one, one pass and then I want you guys to do a pass and we'll just alternate. We'll do like, um, actually we'll give it two passes each. So two rounds of the chords each and then you guys can get an idea of that and then I'll leave the track to play while I set up for the stream. All right, one, two, three. Cool, now get ready for you guys to come in. One, two, come in now.
cool. Now you guys go. So hopefully that was pretty fun for us to alternate between it in the solos. Let me know in the comments if you like that kind of stuff. But um, now uh, I'm going to start setting up for my stream and I'm going to leave the loop on and you guys can just sit down and improvise however you want, completely free. Um, just remember, if you're going to practice improvisation, do have a compartmentalized setup. Um, like there is something for being free and having fun and just like being creative and kind of getting lost in the moment. Um, I did it all the time, but it did not serve my improvisation as much as being very conscious of like, I am going to do volume. I am going to do pitch. I'm going to do notes. I am going to do duration of notes. I am going to do bends. Like you be very specific of like where you want to improve your idea. And like the more you can be really conscious of your practice and more analytical and more, more, uh, what's the word? There's a good word for it. More deliberate. Deliberate. That's a good one. Uh, deliberate in your intention, uh, you will find way higher results right away because you, then you're not someone who's just guessing. And you don't want to be the person guessing all the time. You don't want your practice session to be, I'm guessing this. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that helps you. Uh, rock out. I'm going to get ready for the stream, make sure everything's all set up. And uh, hope you guys have a fantastic day and have an amazing time shredding over this Epic, epic progression. All right, one, two, here it goes.
timing. There we go, y'all. I uh, hope you had fun jamming on that. Give me a feedback on what you guys need. This is me when I'm always setting up my, uh, my YouTube. Uh, this is what I got to do. Oh, that's so funny. I recorded it. <laughs> All right, let me close that. We're done now. Um, we're ready to kick it, rip it. So I'll see you guys in the stream. Have a good time. Stay safe and stay out of trouble, y'all. All right. Bye, fam.